Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, March 15th. My birthday! So, yeah. I have here a few things that I've been doing. Not really a whole lot of creativeness. Just getting some stuff ready. Uh, one of the things I like to collect is Smash Pennies. We started this when we went to Disney World with the kids. And we went around and got a bunch of pennies from the different areas. If you don't know what a Smash Penny is, there's these machines in different places. You put uh, a penny in, and usually 50 cents, I believe, and you run it through the machine, and you can get imprints, like little souvenirs, for the area you are at. So, this one here is Mesa Verde. We were on Route 66. Um, what else? I can't even see what I'm looking at. Queen Anne, Queen Mine Tours, Colossal Cave, Disney World, of course, Grand Canyon. So... Just little souvenirs that you can get. And I want to get some more while I'm in Vegas, of course. So I found a website online that shows uh, locations of where you can get some pennies smashed. And I copied out addresses for all the ones in Vegas specifically. So there's quite a few there to get. And I don't know what the deal is with my printer. It's decided to start being messy when it prints. But I've got those. And I also printed out this map. And what I've been doing is adding little dots on the map where the penny smasher machines are. So we know where to go and find them quicker. And I'm going to add some more colored dots for other things. But that's just to start on that one. I have my free attractions in Vegas to go look at. And I've wrote down... All kinds of pertinent details, like uh, one of them is free, but you have to get tickets from another spot. And where is that located? And what times are these places open? That kind of thing. So I got all of those. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's my flight information. A uh, piece of map from that map book I was using for that travel journal a few weeks back. So got my goodies for Vegas. Now, along with my goodies for Vegas, I did do a couple more prep work things for my book. And what we have in here is... That's the cover I think you've already seen. I, I traced around the letters. Um, I had added this piece of map to the front, which is Nevada. And used some washi tape around the Vegas Strip portion. This, is, this part here is another state, so I'm going to use this area as my places to glue on. I created a pocket here and I have a picture bucket list, lots of different places I want to get photos, and then I have a to-do bucket list. Just some things I'd like to accomplish while I'm there. I'll add to that of course. So I've got all these things. I'm not sure what day I was going to start on, whether I was going to have Saturday be my start day or Monday be my start day. But either way, I've got day one through seven because the last Saturday I'm there, I have to be at the airport early for a six o'clock flight. So that's just a travel day. I don't really see me doing any documenting on that particular day other than maybe something I ate on the plane or a strange thing I saw at the airport, that kind of business. So I've got those. I've created a little pouch of envelopes for myself. And this is just lots of little pockets that I can use to tuck memorabilia in for each of the different days. <clears throat> and then I had another one in here, which I can tuck things in. But at the moment, I have some stickers in here I've set up. I've got a couple of little airplanes. These are from Carpe Diem Simple Stories set, I believe. So awesome and best ever. Here's some little icon stickers in gold I thought would be fun to add on there. And then I used these little flag shaped stickers I had to stamp out the days that I am there. And then I can put them on whichever page they actually correspond to when the time comes. <clears throat> Instead of trying to stamp on those little tabs, I figured that would work better. I also have an assortment of these little arrow stickers that are similar to those little tiny dots. Now I can mark some things. 
So, that goes back in its pouch. <coughs> All ready to go. Must not forget that, obviously. Coffee time. All right, in Mass Journal. You guys have seen quite a bit of this. Let's see, I did start a second page for numbers. Um, added a few more A's. There's more green. Some of these sections are hard to find things for. I did get some string added in. A few more tags. <coughs> Excuse me. Ever since I was sick the other week, I've had this phlegmy cough thing that I've been trying to get rid of. It's very obnoxious. I did find some good pieces of purple. Isn't that pretty handbag? And those shoes. And there's another one. Um, I don't think I added two to that. I don't think that's gone anywhere. Still hunting for squares. Started my wheels. Still working on that one. Got some doors added on. Um, ears is going well. I decided to start a nail polish page because I kept running across advertisements for nail polish. Some of these have stuck together because I didn't wipe my glue. Gold is coming along really nice. Look at this crazy outfit this woman has on. I don't know what the deal is when when they pose people. That just looks so not natural. So anyway, there's some shiny boots and jewelry and a funny pineapple thing and going on there. White. Owls hasn't gone far. Neither is Bugs. Got some good eyeglasses going. This was a display and a <clears throat> ad for some outfits. She was looking at the glasses rack, and so I just cut the whole rack out, and put it on here. I'm also going to put this veneer wood eyeglasses on here because they are hands going pretty decent. The faces is done. I've got a names page going. That's going pretty good. Uh, Rainbow hasn't progressed. Black and white I found some good ones. Cute little zebra. <laughs> Skunk. And a doodle jacket. Oh, pretty neat. Um, there's black specifically, so I got a, a neat boot there. And here we have the mouth. Seashells hasn't gone anywhere. Uh, let's see. Gotta add to that. Flags, I found a couple. Windows, nothing. Red, I found a couple of interesting things to put on there. Food hasn't gone anywhere. Found some more paint brushes to add in, so not much farther for that to be done. Found an orange tide. Got a couple more pens added in, I believe. I have some stars on the table here I need to put in. Arrows, I found a couple more. Yellow. Um, I added one more pocket. Shiny. I don't think. Oh, I added this wrapper. Perfume. Fish is hard to find. I need to find something to order that has fish in it. I think I added this kitty. A <coughs> couple of dogs. Pink. I found this woman in a pink outfit. Sorry for the glare. So that worked pretty good on there. This little butterfly off of a perfume thing. Um, I think I added a drink. I haven't found any more keys or brown items yet. Chairs, I need to cut some more out. There's my paint page. That's doing pretty decent. I need to find some gray stuff. And I have a collection of fortune cookies someplace, but I don't remember where I went. And then I started this one because I needed more. Um, move tags. Those of you who've ever had a commercial mover come pack your home, you get inventory tags for your boxes that you have to check off as they unload them. And I have a lot of these because every time we move with the military, they use commercial movers. So I probably got 
a couple hundred of those somewhere. They're all stuck to a plastic notebook. I need to go find them so I can add them to the page. But I have three or four different colors of them, I believe. Decided to start doing a bread tag page. Just the plastic ones. I don't want the, the twist tie ones. And we've got a few blank pages for future ideas. Then I had a collection of punch outs from stuff, which I thought was a little weird of me to keep use keeping. So I decided I'm going to glue them all down. So we got this collage little spewing of circles. It's just the circle holes when you punch into the papers. Uh, then I decided I, since I have so many books of book text to use, I would start adding them on a page. This was just some that were laying on my desk. And I started a barcode page. I thought that would be kind of fun. And I have a bunch of ruler stuff. So I have the Ikea ones that you can get from the store. I cut that up and fit it on here. And these are all washi tapes and stuff that I have. All rulers. So there you go. That's a ruler fetish. So I need to add some more over there. And I do believe that's it for this one. I still need to put some more tabs on these parts back here, but that's it for end mass progress. I haven't seen that in a long time, have you? Um, I got my stamps from Gina, and I got my easy mount foam in the mail, which, you know, is not as easy mount as you would think the way I was trying to do it. The first way I did it was... I cut all the stamps out first and then I added them on the foam as close as possible as I could thinking I would be frugal and and then cut around them but because the sticky side was exposed already it became a royal pin in the rear for my scissors and my fingers so much goop so don't be, try to be frugal it really is not worth it just peel that backing off slap the whole thing on there and then cut them out which is what I did here so those are ready now around the very edge of the stamp thing was this border, which, you know, I don't know if it was this, who would need that really? Um, I haven't cut this one up yet, but I did cut up the other one and I used it on a piece of the sticky back. And I got this deal, which, if I could find the little paper I stamped it out on, which seems to have run off. Story of my life, paper's always running away. There it is. I created that stamp. Cool, huh? So even when you have leftover bits from your red rubber stamp things, you can do things with. So I thought that would be fun. All right, this guy. This guy has been hiding away for a long time. I got the cover done, and I got all the insert pages ready, and then I stopped. Well, I finally figured out how I wanted to go about the inside and actually started working on it. I had to sew this inside book block together, and you're not going to be able to see that, I don't think. Um, no, you're not. I punched three holes into the stack of papers, right here, one, two, three, and then I ran string around them and tied them together, and then I glued those into the book, and then I glued some of this uh, tape that I have that you have to activate with water. Hook those on there. When, so those are holding the block in and then it's also glued to the spine. So this one got a little crooked but it's okay. And then I went through individual pages and added a bead of glue and some of them worked well and some of them didn't. Like this one did not work well. You can see that white down in there. That's where the paper's ripping. And that might have been because I chose to mess with it before it was actually dry. But on other pages it worked okay. And then I started going through and added some goodies. So this is a laser cut piece of wood. And I added some metallic rub stuff from Deco Arts. I don't remember what it's called right off the top of my head. But anyway, I put that on there. And then I added these little circles of paper that have gears and stuff on. That was from a Graphic 45 thing. And I just started putting them on here. This was part of a paper I'd cut out. I'm not done with this by any means. Uh, just working my way through, going to do some stuff to it. I have some rub-ons that look like they would look nice in here, so I've added those on. This was already part of my pages. And back here somewhere, 
So I've added some cameras, little cutouts, these little guys. Um, so yeah, there's another rub on. As I get more things added to here, I will do a better flip. But for now, that's my steampunk book. And I think it looks pretty yummy with all those little pages sticking out everywhere. And that turned out pretty decent. That's a Compton's Pictured Encyclopedia um, from, night I don't remember what year. I'd have to look back at my video from before. But I found this at a thrifty shop. And I've actually found a couple more of them here at another thrifty shop. There's like four of them, I think. But I still have one I haven't destroyed yet. And so I'm not going to get the other ones until I've actually used the ones that I have because I don't need to make a pile of these even though they're, they're gorgeous covers. They really are. So that is that. And I don't see anything else laying around me that seems to be uh, something new that needs to be addressed. So I will call it a day and I hope you're all having fun. As for my birthday, I'm probably not doing anything. <laughs> Because I don't do anything for my birthday. My birthday is boring. Um, <clears throat> so, my birthday fun is going to be spent next week in Vegas. With my girlfriends. We're going to meet up with another one of the girls. Uh, in fact, we're meeting up with anybody who's um, in the area. Who can stop by for a drink. We're going to have a night where we're out and about and accessible if you want to stop by for a beverage or a chit chat or a photo op. Not that I'm famous and you need to have a photo op with me, but hey, you never know. Um, we'll post something about that. I will not have a chat video next week because obviously I'm not going to be here to be able to edit it. I will have some stuff pre-loaded that will air so that you have something to watch. It's not just one blank week, but it's not going to be like today, where it's a chit-chat. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm sorry if you missed my chit-chat. But uh, we're going to meet up with Aaron from Imperfect Impulses. We're going to have, hopefully, him and his wife uh, out to dinner one night. Might be on Anne's dinner night. Big group of us. All YouTubers so we're gonna have footage pictures and stuff you can see um, if you are on my Instagram if you're not you should go down and find it but I will post pictures on Instagram during my time there because that probably be the easiest way to keep track of what I'm doing um, but afterwards when I get back there will definitely be some video because we're gonna do some shopping at Dick Blick's we're gonna go people watching on the strip going to see all the different uh, fun casinos. We're going to go out to, was it Red Rock State Park or something like that, National Park. I'm going to go do some some nature looking. Um, all kinds of fun things. So, watch for that. Go to my Instagram. You can follow those pictures on there. We're going to do some arting in our room. All kinds of fun things. So, hope you're having a wonderful week and we'll talk to you later. Bye!